Hello and welcome to part two of my POE for PROG 6211. Let's jump straight in. I'm going to take you to the new file or the new class that I've created based on the feedback from the lecturer. This is a recipe manager class and it allows the program class to be a lot emptier. It gives it a lot more uh, utility, a lot better usability. Yes, and uh, most important thing is that no arrays have been used. These are all dynamic lists, also created in the program class. Everything is hiding in there. And there you see we have the recipe manager going to work. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, let's start by adding a recipe. I've got my famous cinnamon roll recipe, which I just created last night, so I'm going to go on that. Let's do a quick two ingredients. Let's do butter, and it'll ask us, we'll do three for tablespoons. What quantity of butter? I think four tablespoons of butter is good. The amount of calories, let's do 250, just to, to tease it. And we can decide that it's the fat and oils. It's asking us if we want to confirm the ingredient with the calories and fats and oils, and we're going to say yes. Okay, pleasing into ingredient two, so we can put salt. All right, now we only need half a teaspoon of salt. So we'll put 0 0.5. And the number of calories, we're just going to skip that. And we're going to skip the food group as well, because those are optional. And we are going to add this ingredient. Number of steps, let's just keep it short. Let's just preheat the oven. Okay, let's add the recipe. View recipe. Let's view the recipe. Okay, here it is. Ingredients, cinnamon rolls. In, uh, ingredients, 4 tablespoons of butter. Calories, 250. Food group, facts and oils. Shouldn't be facts. I'll change that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's add another recipe and show you what happens when we go over the 300 limit. So the name of this recipe, let's do... Fudge brownies, another one of my specialties. Number of ingredients, let's do a quick two. Ingredient one, we're going to do butter again. And let's do one cup of butter. That should be about 350 calories. Okay, what food group is it? Six fats and oils. And now it's fats and oils, not sure what happened there. Asking if we want to add that, we're going to say yes. And there's a warning that comes up. Warning, the recipe fudge brownies exceeds 300 calories with a total of 350 calories. Okay, it allows us to continue. Let's add the chocolate. Okay, we need about 200 grams of chocolate. And that's going to be about 1,000 calories. Let's see, and that is fats and oils. And we will add that ingredient. Number of steps, we'll keep it short, or just to show you, we'll keep it long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's view this recipe. And if we view it, we can see that there's a warning there. 300. There's a 300 calorie limit. Oh, yeah, yo, that's not good. Okay, anyway, let's search by recipe name. Now we can search uh, fudge brownies. And we'll see that the warning still persists. Okay, let's uh, scale a recipe, shall we? We'll scale recipe one. And we'll scale it five times. Now let's have a look at the recipes again. Okay, we'll see that now even the calories got multiplied. 
and so did the total calories. So that's working exactly how we want it to. Now let's reset the quantities and all the, uh, all the uh, quantities that have been scaled get scaled back. And now let's clear the data at the end. Confirm, clear all recipes, yes, after all the hard work. And let's exit. Okay. And that's it. We have our unit, unit test here. When, when we run it, that was successful. Why don't we run it there? Okay, so we checked that we've got our check calories and that triggers correct. So basically, what the check calories unit test is achieving. Um, it's basically adding two ingredients to the recipes that are going to break the 300 limit, which is calories one, calories two. And it's checking to see if the Boolean is triggered. Now, if we go into the recipes and we go into the check calories function right over here, we'll see that there is a Boolean called warning. And if that warning is true, that means that the 300 limit was exceeded and that uh, the warning sign was uh, delivered. The, war uh, the warning message was delivered. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you very much.